Hi gents, this is Mr. Holding, um, and a quick video just explaining how to use Pythagoras method when trying to determine the area of a triangle. Now, Pythagoras theorem is not about area, it's about trying to find out known sides. All right, so when you have a right angle triangle, um, if we draw one here, um, it's about the relationship between the two shorter sides which with the long side, which we know as the hypotenuse. Okay, so we had a right angle trial, our hypotenuse we refer to as C, and the other two are A and B. So A squared plus B squared will equal C squared. And you can rearrange that if you have C and B to determine A and all sorts of things. But in terms of finding the area of a triangle, the basic um, equation is the area of a triangle is half of the base times the perpendicular height, or half bh. Now the base times the perpendicular height. Now in this case, where we've got a um, triangle with two equal sides, we can draw a line down the middle, which is the perpendicular height, which is at a right angle to the base, which means that we can now determine this length, all right, which in our case would be two, two meters, which is half of four, and we have three here. So we can actually work out the perpendicular height. So using the equations um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and if we substitute in what we have, we have the long side, so that's going to be the hypotenuse, so we have 3 squared there. We also have this one here, so that can be a or b. Um, for simplicity I'll make it b. Um, that can be 2 squared, when we're left with a. Alright? Um, so all we want to do is rearrange this equation and that'll give us the perpendicular height of this particular triangle. Okay, so we end up with, so therefore, um, A squared equals 3 squared minus 2 squared. Right. We can work it out and go, uh, 3 3's are 9, minus 2 2's are 4, ends up as 5, and then we want to get rid of the squared, so we do the opposite. So a equals the square root of 5 equals, um, you can do your maths with that one, it's 2 point something, okay? Um, work your calculator that, where is it? Oh, I will finish it. Uh, square root of 5 equals 2.23 and then metres. And so therefore we have the height. Okay, so now we've got the height, we can work work um, work out the area. So the area of triangle equals half base times height, which equals 0 0.5 times 4. Okay, and that's a common trap that people fall in. All right, it's not 2, it's 4, because we're using the whole base, multiplied by height, which is 2.23. 0 0.5 times 4 is 2, 2 times 2.23, 2 times 2.23 equals 4.46 metres squared. All right, so we've gone from the start to finish. We've identified that this is a triangle. We can make a right angle here. Uh, we can use Pythagoras to come in there. So this method, and also the sine ratio method, ultimately what we're trying to do is we're just trying to determine... Uh, the perpendicular height so that we can then use this equation to work out the area. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to come and see me in class.